I'm Carson Lewis, a uh, poultry farmer in Round Hill, Annapolis County. Uh, me and my wife, Valerie, uh, we grow uh, broilers for ACA Co-op uh, out of New Minas. Uh, we uh, have three barns. We grow uh, one million kgs per year uh, for broilers that uh, are marketed through uh, Maple Lodge uh, on Ontario. We, ha we have two farms, uh, Brookside Poultry and Round Hill Poultry. They're two separate farms. We do uh, we do a, a broiler at a 2.3 kg broiler, uh, which is uh, for use for Swiss Chalet. Uh, the smaller birds go to Kentucky Fried Chicken, uh, and then the and then the rotisserie birds for the grocery store. We have our own feed mill that uh, we we uh, mill up about 1,800 tons of feed per year for the broilers. The farm the farm consists of uh, about 180 acres of grain land, which we uh, ran out to the dairy farm next door, the Bishops. We're inside a uh, Round Hill Poultry. This is a, a, a typical broiler barn uh, in Canada. Uh, this barn's uh, 21,000 square feet in size. Uh, we're running, uh, I run 26,000 birds uh, in this barn per flock. The birds that you're seeing right now are uh, just seven days old. Uh, the heating system in this barn is all in-floor heating, in-floor radiant heating with uh, pipes that goes through the concrete of the floor. The, it, the, this type of heating makes it very comfortable for chicks as w when we bring the barn up to temperature for the birds, uh, we have to bring the barn up to 32 degrees Celsius which is close to what the body temperature is for the chick. With the heat source being the floor themselves, when the chick lays down, it feels warm, just like a warm bed for them. Uh, as you can see throughout the barn, they're spread out very evenly, which tells the farmer that uh, they're very comfortable and that the, client and the conditions are just right. In, uh, in about 2002, we had a hard winter and uh, my oil consumption went right through the roof. The, uh, the, the cost of heating the barns throughout uh, the winter and the year was, uh, w w became too much. Uh, so I started looking at different ways of heating my barns uh, to cut down costs. Uh, so I put in uh, wood furnaces, outdoor wood furnaces. I was consuming 130 to 150 quart of wood a year about seven to eight years, eight years, uh, the wood furnaces uh, basically burn out. Uh, we, we looked, so at that time I knew I couldn't afford to go back to oil. Uh, I went up to London, Ontario to uh, meet a gentleman up there that put uh, uh, heat, uh, ground source heat pumps in his barns. Uh, I used oil in the time frame from when I decommissioned my wood furnaces to I brought the technology down and installed it in the geothermal technology down and still installed it into my barns. The, uh, the, ground, the ground loop field is uh, down over the hill there. There's uh, 18 trenches. Uh, f they was uh, 600 feet long. They were five feet deep and, f and five feet wide. Uh, the one inch uh, PEX pipe that was uh, buried in the lines or in the, in the trenches go down one side of the trench, loops back and comes back up to the barn. We're in uh, Brookside Poultry, uh, which is uh, the other barn that uh, is geared over for geothermal. Uh, these, what you see here on the wall now, are the supply and the return lines for the uh, three geothermal pumps that we have here. Uh, each line pumps, e each loop is 3,600 feet long. Uh, the water coming out of the ground is approximately seven, eight degrees. And when it's returned, it's, it takes down to zero to minus one. 
the uh, heat pumps draw five to six degrees uh, of temperature out of the water uh, as it circulates through the pump. Uh, the, uh, there is a 10% glycol mixture in a solution into the uh, water to stop it from uh, jowling or freezing. Uh, as the, uh, the warm water from the ground circulates through to the uh, heat pumps, uh, we have a, uh, the, the three heat pumps are stacked. The warm water circulates through the heat exchangers and the temperature then is extracted into my ground loop or my floor loops which uh, these 220 gallon storage tanks uh, holds the water. Then when the computer ventilation system calls for heat, the circulator pumps will take this uh, 40 degree water and put it into the floor of the barn. Uh, all, the, all the barns here are in floor radiant heating, uh, which has the hot water pipes poured right into the concrete which is more comfortable for the chicks. The, uh, the system, uh, all told, for, the, for both barns cost me around $230,000. The funding on the system was uh, about 50% funding uh, with the uh, pilot project through the Department of Agriculture Nova Scotia, the Eco Energy Retrofit Program, uh, Efficiency Nova Scotia, and the uh, Farm Investment Fund. It's well worth the time of taking the road trip uh, to go visit a farm that's has done done the systems uh, and talk to producers that have has got experience with the uh, systems. If you don't know of a producer that's doing your application, then uh, you know talk talk to some talk to somebody that has systems similar to the size that you're looking at putting in. I'm very uh, optimistic on the uh, return on investment for the system. Uh, it appears to be very low maintenance. Uh, there's no annual servicing to be required. Uh, if, when things all turn out, if I can save 60% on my energy costs, uh, you know, I'm looking at uh, you know, less than a five-year payback for the system. So with, with any luck, that'll be, be all of that.